Welcome to the Bakewell Being Mobile renovation vlog part two. Hey everyone! So we are back working on the van after about a five week break. So here she is, everything is nicely painted as we finished with at the end of the last vlog. Get ready! Yes! So we've got the under cabinet lights and obviously everything has been tiled. Let's see if we can turn the other lights on. So we've got lights across the ceiling there. We also fitted two reading lights at the end of the sofas, USB charging ports, the solar monitor panel, some sockets, the main control panel, and some LED strip lights for ambiance. And they will be powered by solar panels, which are gonna go on the roof. We've also got our little mini fridge here and we've got our mini oven she's kind of cute the next job was to plumb water to the toilet the shower and the sink which didn't initially go to plan oh we have a leak but we did eventually get running water so we're at the van today connor has put the solar panels on the roof so the toilet looks like open I'm really fascinated by this toilet. I just need to get over the toilet, really. And Connor is now trying to fit a plank of wood that's going to sit above our heads in the driver and passenger seat so we can have kind of like a little cubby hole. Is it called a cubby hole? I think it is. So we can have some extra storage space for like bedding and pillows and stuff. It's not going to go in the first time. <laughs> now that would just be too easy, wouldn't it? This is we make our tea on site with a flask of hot water and some freshly baked muffins. It's handy to have a baker on site, isn't it, Connor? Yeah. Yeah. Next, Connor had to figure out how to attach the gas tank to the underside of the van. <laughs> while I made the cupboard doors. These are gonna go the above head cabinet doors. <laughs> So these lengths are going to go on to the cupboard like this then have one here and here and then we're going to paint the whole thing. We then took a trip to Ikea and I got excited about all the things I want to put in the van. So it's painting day. <laughs> here are our cabinet and cupboard doors. Connor's done a wonderful job of making these, gluing them, sanding them, filling them and now we've just got to paint. So we're back at the van. It's now November the 7th. So it's five months and five days, actually, since we bought Vanessa. And she's looking all right, really. She's looking like a bit of a home. And we're now working on the flooring. So we've gone for this sort of charcoal -y gray wood effect. And that gray goes quite nice with some of the marble grey in the work surfaces. So we realised that we actually uh, hadn't quite finished the door and to rectify the issue, to rectify the issue, we've had to actually remove the door from the van. <laughs> Then we measured and cut all the rest of the woodwork for the inside of the van. So we're back after a very long winter in lockdown and it was just too cold really to work on Vanessa or do anything. But now we've had like a sunny week. We finally painted the side door. Connor is now working on the bathroom door and we are going to, first time I've come under there without bashing my head, we're gonna cover this and have another little cupboard here. We've had an issue with the shower. So when we had these really, really cold days, the water froze and um, expanded the pipes and then blew one of the pipes up. So we love that. The next challenge was to try and get the diesel heater to work, which took a lot of rewiring, but Connor did eventually succeed. Woo! So this bad boy down here is pumping out hot air, my friends. That is nice and warm and you can control it right here. That's how you can set the temperature and stuff and how long you want it to go for. And um, it's been a successful day. 
stay tuned for part three. She comes with the tiniest little tray.